today guys we did get the new duke of dunks set man so obviously we do need to go over the new snipe filters man not as many good ones as i would have hoped for but we do have some bangers to go over but first for the cheapest and most reliable nba 2k25 mt hit up nba2king.com and use code grinds to get five percent off your purchase the first filter we're gonna go over is the Ruby Dukes of Dunk filter, man. What you wanna do is set your color to Ruby, put your theme to Dukes of Dunk, man, and you're gonna scroll your maximum bile up until you find the cheapest David Thompson on your console, man. Huge, huge note on this filter, bro. These cards seem to be rare-ish, or just not a lot of people are ripping these packs, and I have not seen them selling too much. I've seen a couple sell, so I strongly suggest you grab this guy for like half price, man. Like 3,500 would be the max that I would buy this David Thompson card for, and then post him up for like, you know, pretty cheap, man. Maybe like 5,750 if he's still 6,900. I would go half price to on david thompson to make sure you guys don't lose any money but on this filter man i suggest you scroll like i said there's two cards there's david thompson and there's robert pack buy david thompson for about half the price that he's going for man just to make sure you got profit and then robert pack buy him if he pops up on the scroll but if you do decide to hard scope robert pack he's going for about sixteen thousand, man i would also make sure you have tons of room of profit that's why i don't reference the hard scope filter in this video uh, because I think buying him at the price that you're scrolling on David Thompson is pretty much a good range man I wouldn't go higher than 10,000 MT for Robert Pack and just because they seem to be kind of slow selling but they are pretty high in price man and they are rubies so it's a W little filter to work on man let me know in the comments what your best snipe on this filter is the next filter we're going to go over is the 500 filter or the cheapest all filter man what you want to do is come down no color no theme no nothing selected man you're going to raise your maximum buyout up until you find the cheapest cards on your console which should be anywhere from 600 to 700 uh, on xbox you can typically get the cards to sell no matter what card it is for at least 650 mt what i suggest man is you lower your maximum buyout down to 500 man just keep refreshing and snipe anything that pops up because everything that can pop up is profit on here obviously you're looking for amethysts and diamonds and ruby gems of the game cards anything that's worth more but no matter what you snipe you can resell it for profit man so it's a nice little filter man people have been swearing by it for the last couple weeks i have never had luck on this filter in my entire 2k career i don't really spend a lot of time on it though which is probably why but every time i do i don't see a thing or all i see is cards that are about 40 mt profit but lots of people have been getting diamonds on here i saw that a demar derozan popped up for 500 on xbox a few nights ago so i mean if you if you want to try it man it's definitely a good way to make mt man it's a w filter the next filter that we're gonna go over is the Dukes of Dunks cheapest filter, man. I'm throw. I don't know why I was feeling to put in a bunch of budget filters today, man. What you want to do is set your theme to Dukes of Dunk, man. You're gonna scroll your maximum buyout up until you find the cheapest cards on your console, which are selling typically for about 1.7k, no matter what it is. Emerald, gold, sapphires are more expensive though, but so. What you want to do on this filter is just scroll on the cheapest one you're looking to grab any of these emeralds and golds for about a thousand mt and below if they pop up if you see a sapphire for 1500 and below buy it man it kind of depends what price point you're scrolling on the sapphires the cheapest are going for like 2000 and then there's a sapphire that's going john collins is selling for about 5000 man so obviously if you see john collins for any price buy him that's a w pickup and then just any of these emeralds and golds just grab them for a thousand and below which they will be popping up kind of frequently since people are going to think it's a gold and you know what i'm saying just throw it up for cheap but they are a bit more expensive as of right now man i got a feeling this filter and its pricings will go down throughout the day so make sure you monitor that don't just throw your buyout on a thousand and then you know you're like oh man filters going crazy and then you come to find out that uh, they drop down to 1100 so make sure you always check the pricing of the filter you're working and the card you're trying to snipe before you start getting any snipes because the pricing has been pretty inconsistent so far this 2k the next filter we're going to go over is the central division high tier filter man i haven't dropped this in a video yet 
I haven't really gotten any good snipes on it, but I have been working it off stream a bit just to see, man, since Pippin and MJ drop, man, it's pretty decent filter if you're looking for high tier snipes man what you want to do is set your division to central you don't want to have a color a theme nothing you just want to put your division to central you're going to raise your minimum bid up to 100,000 mt and put your minimum buyout to 500 and just keep refreshing you're going to have a scroll you just want to scroll through these man we got one card path to the you know the to where the snipes usually pop up at the four hour mark so that's not bad and we can see the whole entire filter in case something pops up at the 24 hour mark obviously a w there's quite a few cards you can snipe on here if i could remember them i know pink diamond mj pink diamond scotty Pittman are on here we got dame we have oladipo now drummond i believe is a snipe i swear i just saw him selling for higher obviously the next one to sell isn't for two hours so he's saying at 100k i think he's a snipe guys but make sure you check because i haven't been monitoring these pricings too too closely but i'm pretty sure i saw him yesterday as a snipe man so we got oladipo i think that's about it you won't see scotty and mg on here because there's none posted we got grant hill as well that's another one that's on here so nice little filter grant hill is a snipe scotty mj dame obviously snipes oladipo is definitely a snipe man he's way up in price and then drummond i'm not sure about and i'm sure there's a couple other cards on here um that are just not up for sale right now and i kind of forget who the heck is on here but w little filter give it a try man let me know if you get anything crazy on this filter if you get a pink diamond michael jordan or scotty pippen i'm gonna be very jealous because i want to snipe one of them so bad the next filter we're gonna go over is the amethyst cheapest filter and they are actually in the toilet right now holy smokes bro what you want to do for this filter is put your color to amethyst raise your maximum buyout up until you find the cheapest amethyst on your console which is gonna be like eric money jason tato man luca they're all pretty similar pricing i cannot believe they're all the way down on xbox to about eight thousand man they probably will raise back up unless they significantly increase the odds on amethyst man i don't know i don't rip packs man i, I don't like packs it's just a waste of mt in my opinion so i don't really check the odds but it's it's appearing that since the uh, bbq buckets dropped they have increased the odds a bit because they've been flooding the market but anyways it's still a great filter there's still so many darn more expensive amethyst on this filter that you can snipe man so try to know your amethyst pricing man if you have the time literally just kind of search amethyst in your collection or not through your collection but through like the season one and such and just go check all their pricings man because there's so many more amethyst that you can snipe if they pop up for 8k which happens all the time which why it's crucial that you know your pricing man because people will just look up oh it's an amethyst okay 8k is the cheapest amethyst and throwing them up for 8k but if it's like a ray for austin just last week he was going for 14 i haven't looked at his price today but every time i work the amethyst filter i always check at least a few of the amethyst that i know are more expensive so i know what they're going for and know if i pick them up if they pop up on the scroll so on this filter man scroll with the cheapest amethyst card up i should drop it down to you know 7950 so i don't see the 8000 tatum so it's just one card like this grab any of these cheap amethyst man for like 6k and below at the highest you can you know really want them for like 5k and below snipe anything more expensive man you got uh, lebron Giannis, any amethyst gems of the game uh ray for alston probably is still a bit more expensive lots of good options on here man so give it a try hopefully you guys get something crazy man like a freaking lebron for 500 or something the next filter we're gonna go over is still one of my favorites and it is the diamond cheapest filter man what you want to do is set your color to diamond and you're gonna raise your maximum buyout up until you find the cheapest steve nash on your console i'm almost certain he's gonna be the cheapest card no matter what console you're on or whatever the cheapest card is depending and i don't know maybe pc's wild or something who knows man but go ahead and scroll your maximum buyout up till they find the cheapest one scroll on the cheapest card just like this like see how my max buyout is at 53,950. You want to always raise this up to the highest amount without having two cards on it. See, at 54,000, two cards pop up. We don't want to deal with that. We just want to have to scroll through one card, but also have the most chance to see a diamond. Russ Wilts, Oladipo, any of the new ones, man. Buy them if they pop up, and then grab any of these cheaper diamonds for about 40,000 and below and resell for profit like Steve Nash. Grab him if he pops up for 40K 
any of the other cheaper diamonds man again know your pricing on this diamond filter because you can miss out on a lot of mt if you don't know your pricing the next filter we're going to go over is the center diamond filter man for this filter you want to set your position to center you want to put your color to diamond and you're gonna if you're on xbox at least probably can't get away with this on playstation you're gonna set your minimum buyout to 500 if you're on playstation you'll need to raise your minimum bid up to probably a hundred thousand or wherever it is so you have a manageable scroll right now on xbox we can actually get away with just doing a minimum buyout 500 which is actually a huge dub and i'm going to spend some time with this <laughs> with this filter after uh we finish this video i don't know my phone is blowing up i apologize guys man put your color to position to center color to diamond minimum buyout 500 man er, pretty much everybody besides jeff rutland and duckworth is a snipe man check pricing again on andre drummond obviously is on this filter as well as DeAndre Jordan's on here as well. I'm thinking he just dropped today. I'm thinking he will be a snipe at least for a little bit, uh, but monitor his pricing guys. But you got all the centers, Wilt, Dwight, Chet. Obviously grab those men if they pop up. You also have Sangoon who is still going for about 130 on Xbox, man. Uh, that's what I was told. I know one of them sold for 130 last night on Xbox. So W little filter here again this is for high tier and you need to have a lot of patience on these filters because they've been pretty darn dry the next filter we're going over again is one of my favorites man i'm putting y'all on point today man so make sure y'all hit that like button bro what you want to do no color no nothing you want to set your theme to bbq buckets man and if you're on xbox you can raise your minimum bid up to seventy-seven thousand eight hundred, and then put your minimum buyout to 500 and you're just going to keep refreshing here with this one card up you want to go ahead and adjust your minimum bid depending on your console and what changes from the time that you guys see this video etc so that way you have a manageable scroll and you want your minimum bid as low as possible so you have the highest chance to see any of the pink diamonds any of the high tier diamonds which there's actually a grip ton of them on this filter man so spend some time on here including shack obviously is this the set we got mj i don't remember no we got pascal damar al harrington ak all snipes man all snipes so many good snipes i heard bradley beal did go up in price but i wouldn't risk it i know one sold for 110k yesterday so unless they continue to go higher in price don't grab that one but there's a ton of great cards you can snipe on here one of my favorite filters right now still haven't gotten anything on it but i plan to man i plan to <laughs> snipe one of those pascals or something and of course the last filter on every snipe filter video man as of right now is the pink diamond filter guys we are getting so many pink diamonds bro as i know the odds are horrible but at some point these got to start start popping up more frequently guys they have got to we got to have like 20 di pink diamonds in the game right now i don't even know it's probably more like 17 or something i haven't added them up maybe i'll do that for the next video um guys we're gonna be doing a giveaway guys i just decided right this second because i said i was gonna reference it in this video and i forgot so shout out to the goats who stay to the end we're gonna get on the details of this man so we're gonna give away two twenty dollar xbox or twenty dollar playstation gift cards man for the playstation or the xbox store your choice whoever we're gonna pick two winners and you can choose either an xbox twenty dollar gift card or a playstation twenty dollar gift card two winners man to enter you need to make sure you come to stream on friday friday whatever the date is man let me take a look here while we're talking about it friday october 4th man we are going to do this giveaway this is for hitting 10,000 subscribers shout out to you guys for all the support man shout out to you for staying to the end make sure you come to my stream friday night october 4th the giveaway will be at 11 p.m eastern standard time we fire up streams around 9 30 somewhere around there man at 11 p.m eastern time make sure you are in the stream and we will do the giveaway then so make sure y'all come through for that i would appreciate it shout out to you guys for all the support anyways pink diamond filter man my fault i got distracted because i forgot i said i was going to reference it in this video man put your color to pink diamond set your minimum about to 500 man and just refresh and refresh and refresh man and just hope and pray that something pops up if it does man buy it as quick as possible make sure you don't get on the stupid tip screen because i know when i'm working this filter with no scroll i get a little too quick with my refreshes and sometimes that's how i am ended up getting on these darn tip screens man hopefully you enjoyed the video sorry it's a bit longer i'm thinking so my fault 
smash the like button if you did enjoy it man if you guys want to see if you guys want to see the snipe filter video we dropped a few days ago referencing the barbecue bucket set man click the video that's popping up on screen jay grinds out